Welcome back to the channel, James Sharmack here once again. So before you, you see the DC Direct Return of Superman steel figure I've had for my collection for about 20 years, going on 20 years anyways. And uh, I just recently got the uh, McFarlane Toys version of steel, so we'll take a look at both figures, uh, see how they differentiate from each other, see which one could be better, which one isn't, and uh, have a good time doing it. So uh, let's... Uh, First look at the box. I don't have the box for this guy, but we'll take a look at the back the McFarlane box. Take a look at him first, pull him out, and take a look at him, and then do some comparing. Okay, so we have your uh, typical McFarlane box going on, a whole window display uh, on the side, you know, more window still there. On the back, uh, Reign of the Superman, uh, more modern interpretation drawing, I guess. Steel Reign of the Superman, but this isn't exactly a Reign of the Superman figure, so we'll talk about that in a little bit. Back to the front, the usual stuff going on. The window display at the top, 22 uh, points for articulation, and uh, McFarlane toys on the top. So uh, let's talk about the DC uh, figure that I have, and we'll open this one up and talk about him. So we have your uh, DC Direct uh, Return Superman Steel figure, of course, uh, looking extremely comic accurate. DC Direct at the time was trying to go for more comic accurate figures and you know work on articulation, but they still have a pretty solid amount of articulation regardless. Uh, but uh, they do have you know their problems. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But anyways, uh, I always like the sculpt of it. You know, obviously the S is big. On, you know, it looks just like the uh, the artwork from the Man of Steel books. If you want to ever look those up, those are usually cheap. Those are usually like a buck or so on a dollar bin. But, you know, that's a nice solid head sculpt. I found nice eyes. Eyes are white. I love the contrast on this figure. Obviously, he's got a very dark gray throughout most of the body in the comic books. He's blue, more or less. But I dug this a bit more just, you know, because it goes a little, it looks more steel than it does, you know, the comic blue. But, you know, steel and silver, the contrast was awesome. I always, always loved uh, the, uh, you know, detail on him. Nice detail on the uh, the uh, projectile arm there, uh, and the back. You know, this is seen better days. Obviously, it's, it's a 20-year-old figure, so it still has this yellow S, but he's got marks on him and whatever. So, still pretty solid. Uh, I don't know how much he's going for nowadays. I could probably look it up, but he's probably going for a bit. And we have the McFarlane Toys version of Steel, and. Uh, I wonder if they're going for more of a junkyard aesthetic here, something like halfway between the uh, the, the DC uh, direct figure look or the comic book look and uh, you know the Steel film that came out in 1997, right? Uh, because there's you know it doesn't look as refined as the uh, as the original design. Uh, Obviously, you know, the way it's supposed to look like is, you know, obviously it's supposed to look like he's gotten scratched or anything, because there's definitely a, a bit of paint work around it to make it look like uh, it's a fake, you know, it's, he's used like steel or whatever, or what scraps on anything, because there's, you know, splotches all over the place of like blue, white, whatever. Uh, the S itself, you know, looks like, it's supposed to look like he just like slapped some paint on it, I guess. I thought it might have been wear, but you can see some splotches going on outside. The uh, projectile arm cannon, you know, has uh, you know the same uh, white splotches. So I think you know when they were designing this one, they're more going with like a junkyard aesthetic, which is fine. But you know, it's not the way it kind of looks in the book. He looks a little bit better, I guess. Looks like he look put a little more time. And there's no S on the uniform, so if you're going to go Rain and Superman, you got to put an S, because obviously he's influenced by Superman. Not saying it's a bad-looking figure, you know. I know McFarlane does take their liberties every now and then, but you know, I kind of you know would have liked if you know liked to have seen if you know them stick a little bit closer to the comic book design. But that being said, still a, a decent-looking figure. You can obviously tell it's steel, but you know uh, that. It is what it is, right? Okay, so we have both of them next to each other now. Uh, which one is more visually interesting? Uh, I think... Uh, 
I think just because, you know, which one's going to dry my eye more is just the white. The white on that S just pulls you in a little bit more. But I will say I do like, you know, this aesthetic more. Just, you know, it's, you know, it's obviously, you know, nostalgia more because I like the uh, Man of Steel books. Probably the most out of that four uh, chapter series of uh, Reign and Superman. And, you know, obviously it looks, you know, completely Comic Con where this is, like I said, takes liberties. Still a nice looking steel, but which one you guys prefer? Let me know in the comments below. I'm sure, you know, there are people that like this one a bit more than that one, but I'm just going with what I am telling you. Now, accessory wise, they both more or less have the same thing. Uh, they both have bases. Uh, DC Directo has Superman S base, which, you know, obviously stands out a bit more for me, whereas McFarlane has the usual DC base. Probably could have uh, maybe had a flying base for the rocket boots, but it is what it is. Uh, obviously, uh, McFarlane has the card, has the usual storyline to uh, John Henry Iron. So if you want to take a quick pause, look at that, or you know, look it up online, or whatever. And they both have hammers. Uh, his is more, uh, you know, is has is, is, is a bit of a small one. It always has been. But yet they decided, you know, make it, you know, a little bit bigger for the McFound because, of course, bigger is better, right? So, um, and it has, looks more like, you know, rivet, you know, right, right bar or whatever, rather than just, you know, telescoping out. So, uh, you know, I like this base a bit more, like I said, of course, you probably, you probably should like that one a little bit more just because there's more to look at, obviously. And like I said, you know, with these flying figures, uh, this, these Superman figures, I would, you know, would love to see if they have, like, flying base for, like, the flying figures more often, but it is what it is. Okay, so articulation-wise, you know McFarlane's going to win this one off the bat, uh, just because, obviously, you know, 20 years of advancements. But we'll take a look at uh, DC Direct anyways. Uh, we'll be careful because... Uh, the DC Direct figures, at least the ones that I've owned, have, you know, had problems with joints where the joints pop out, whatever. Like, or, like this one, ha this one's knees pops out. That's very brittle. Uh, you know, because, I don't, I don't know what it is. But, anyways, his head turns side to side. Doesn't really go up and down so much. His arm goes up that far. Goes that far. Goes that far. Uh, rotation of the elbow, the uh, wrist rotates as well as the uh, the arm cannon rotates. They go part goes forward that far, they goes back, and uh, rotation of the knee and the uh, rocket boot swivels. And like I said, uh, you want to be careful with these just because uh, the DC Direct, you know, kind of e they'll either grow brittle over time or they go brittle right away. Like I've got a couple, like the uh, DC Direct Superman Hush came with the leg already off, so I had to pop that one back on. And obviously with the McFarlane ones, we know this by now, his head goes back that far, goes forward that far, all the way around. His arm goes up that far, he's got a bicep ro uh, butterfly rotation, or butterfly hinge, so you can bend the arm back that far, forward that far, uh, bicep rotation, Double joint at the elbow, wrist rotation back and forth, and bend back that far, go forward that far, rotation at the diaphragm, I forgot, he has rotation at the waist, uh, legs go apart that far, legs go forward and back that far, uh, double joint at the knee, uh, ankle rotation, and back and forth, and toe articulation. So. Yeah, of course, the McFarlane one has him beat. Always, always will with these uh, older figures, right? So honestly, it's a toss-up for me. Like, it depends on the day, you know. You know, I've always had great affection. You know, I've always appreciated the uh, DC Direct figure, the comic accuracy, the posability for the time when the figure came out. But, you know, the McFarlane toys, one, you know, Gotta respect the fact that you know they're willing to you know 
bend it, you know, the comic accuracy more or less, make him, you know, make him visually appealing. Obviously, he has more detail, you know, than uh, DC Direct going on. Like, there are more, you know, signs of metal parts and whatnot, you know, paint apps, whatever. So, uh, it would depend on the day for me. You know, I'll, one day I'll probably say this is the better one, another day I'll say this is the better one. But, you know, which one do you like better? You guys like better? Let me know in the comments below. So anyways, hope you guys like this comparison video. Uh, uh, just want to take a break from the Godzilla ones for a little while. Uh, I want to get some McFarlane toys done. Just in this one, you know, since I had this figure, I thought I'd do a comparison, see how that went. If you guys like these comparison videos, well, I made a, you know, maybe look in my collection, see if there, I can do some more now and then. So let me know in the comments below. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys for supporting the channel so far. You know, you've got a few subscribers in the last month or so. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for jumping on and liking what I'm doing. So, uh, yeah, uh, like I said, we got some, you know, I have, if you've seen the inventory video, I have a lot I'm trying to get to. Just, you know, got to get off my laser rear and do them. So, uh, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much. And uh, as always, keep on collecting and happy hunting.